the number one question I get asked, and that's what is the strumming pattern? When I started playing guitar, that was the biggest thing I struggled with was what is the strumming pattern of a song? So I'm going to give you seven different things today that you can kind of go down a checklist when you hear a song that you can try these seven things to see if it fits one of the strumming patterns and hopefully whatever song you're trying to play it'll, it'll fit in one of those categories. Um, one thing, another thing I want to note is it's very hard, especially for beginners, to sing and play at the same time because your singing will always overrule your playing. So what you'll do is you'll sing the song and then in order to try to fit your voice, you'll speed up or slow down and do what you need to do with the chords to throw the song off to fit your voice. So always be leery of that. That, that takes a little while to learn. But uh, here's your seven strumming patterns you can work on. The first one is just a basic down strum. I'll use the chords, <coughs> excuse me, G, C, E minor, D. Um, so like I said, the first one is just strum down and slow. For example, on um, Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. So that's just basic. Just start out slow. The beginners tend to have a tendency to go a little faster, I do it also. Uh, so it's a slow down strum, just keeping a steady beat. So first, just a standard strum. The second one is kind of muting the strings with your hand while you play. This is really helpful for faster songs. So it's like on a... kills the sound and helps you to get to the next chord faster. This is one that I usually use to start out a song. When I'm first trying to learn a song, I'll kind of... start out. So you get the slow strum, the palm mute. The next one is kind of you want to go quick up and down but you're going to emphasize the first strum. This is another really useful chord. So it's until I get that next chord. slow songs, just use the chords but pick the string. So it's... And another thing this really helps is it tells you if you're playing the chord right. So a lot of times, especially for beginners, that's an excellent practice technique to pick through the strings see if you have any dead ones and it'll, tell, it'll help you to move your fingers closer to the fret or in between the fret bars to get a clearer sound. Get a little three doors down there. So there's the fifth method. Fifth, <coughs> the fifth method, excuse me. The sixth method, we're going to use a bass drum. They use this for a lot of country songs. Just give it away. Or straight or And again, you're just taking two or three notes. 
notes, and you're going to trip. Get the bass note down. Yeah. two sounds with the same chord. sound to it. Thank you.